This is a Primavera P6 presentation on schedule cost loading. To demonstrate the procedure for cost loading a schedule, we're going to just take a simple method and a simple schedule. There's multiple ways to do this, but we're just going to show you one that you can utilize. We're working with just an eight activity schedule. The first thing we need to do when we're going to cost load is we need to set up a resource to be used. As you can see, if we hit on, click on an activity, and we come down and we look at resources, we see that there's nothing in here. So there are no resources assigned to any of these activities. So the first thing we need to do is develop, is set up a resource that we can use. To do this, we go into Enterprise, Resources. We're going to hit Add. And it's going to take us through a wizard summary and ask us some questions. We're going to say that we want this to be, we're going to say 9 activity L S for lump sum. 9 activity lump sum is the name of the resource. We're going to go to next. It's non labor. We're going to go, it can be labor material, but we're going to stick with non-labor. We go to next. Units per hour, we're going to say this is going to be one unit per hour. Instead of eight per day, it'll be one per day. And the maximum will be one per day. We go to next. We don't need an office phone or email address. We go to next, roles. We're not going to use this. Select an existing calendar. It will just use the calendar that we're already using for the project. Go to next. It's going to ask us to auto compute the actuals for this resource. We want this box checked. Do not auto compute actuals. This one stays unchecked. So you check auto compute. Go to next. Congratulations. Finish. Now we're going to take this nine activity schedule and we're going to come over here and we're going to move it up to the top. So if we come back over here we can see that we've moved it up to the top, our nine activity resource. You can see here in the tab we're working in resources in enterprise. Now we're going to go to the activity. In the activity, you can see that nothing is assigned. To assign these, we can highlight, mobilization, hit the shift key, select all of these. We're not selecting the start or the finish because they're milestones. We can't resource load a milestone. We right click, we click on assign, we go to resources, we find the one that we just selected, the nine activity, we hit the plus once, and we can come down and check and see now we have resource loaded all of these. Now what we want to do before we move on here is we want to come back while we're in this schedule and go to projects. And while in projects, we want to go to the schedule that we're working on. And down in resources on your project, we want to make sure where it says drive activity dates by default is we uncheck that box. And now we can go back to our activity to see if that has worked. We're going to go in here and we're going to go down to this lower icon that says resource assign popping up but it should say resource assign and it, and we did it after the fact and so we need to uncheck all these boxes that say drive activity dates if you want to find out how to get this you right click in this column and you can customize the column and this is where you would then come in here and you would add 
drive activity status. I always like to check this because it will messages and your dates later on if that box is checked. You can also do a fill, a fill down on this too. Now the other thing it's done is it's taken our durations and it's made them the same as the budgeted units. So for purposes of this we can come in to our budgeted units and we can make them all zeros. Again we can do a fill down on this and now you can see that our budgeted units and our budgeted costs have all gone to zero. Now when we cost load we come in here and we don't cost load the cost we cost load the budget units. And so for example if our mobilization is $10,000 we would put in 10,000 units. Let's see. If grade site is 5,000 Foundations are 26,000. Structure is 90,000. Finishes are 4,000. And the punch list, 2,000. Commission cleanup is $100. Now you can see as we've put money in here, as we've put units in here, it's translated over as a one-to-one -one for budgeted cost. The computer will take whatever we do as far as dates remaining, percentages, and so forth, and it will use it to calculate through the units. The units will then translate that into money. That seems to work the best with P6. Now we can come back in here into our actual schedule. Because we've been working in resource assignment, we can go back into the actual units. The money doesn't show up here, but if we come down here to our status and we we come over here while we're in this general area here and we're in status, we can come over here to our labor units and we're, we're in non-labor units and you can see it has over here the dollar amount assigned to each activity. So as you highlight an activity, it'll show down here what the dollar amount is. If we want to have in the columns here, we can add a column and the column will be um, it'll be budget, budgeted non-labor costs. And we'll move that over can slide it down wherever we want right after remaining duration. We can hit apply. Okay. Now you can see that the money is showing up in here because it's assigned to it. This is where you can see it but anytime you want to work with the money you need to make sure that you come in here and work under this form right here which is resource assignment. You can also see it up here resource assignment. You click on that. This is the screen that you work on your money and you don't change the dollars you change just the units.